Hi, my name is Sunny uh, with Menorum Gold. We're here on our Menorum Gold YouTube channel. And again, I have another guest with me, uh, Mickey Falp uh, with TheMercenaryGeologist.com. Thanks, Mickey, for being on, on our channel today. My pleasure once again, Sonny. Excellent. Well, you know, last time when we spoke with Mickey, we talked about the real cost of mining gold. And we talked about all and sustaining cash costs and what it really costs to, to, uh, to mine an ounce of gold. And today, actually, he's done another study, again, in conjunction with Cypher Research. And we're going to talk about the real value of gold in the ground. How do you measure that uh, in terms of uh, a company uh, that, that, that is mining uh, in, in, in production, exploration stage? And we're going to look at uh, their model, the current model, and, and, and various other uh, issues regarding uh, valuing gold in the ground. So first of all, explain well, what was the premise for creating this model uh, you know, with Cypher Research. You know, with Cypher Research being very technical in nature in the studies, uh, what was the premise for creating this model? Well, we both parties, and they approach it a little differently than I do. Right. But the real premise is how do we value advanced explorers and developers to target companies that are undervalued with respect to their peers and evaluate how viable they are as takeover targets. Okay, got it. Interesting. So what is the, what is the current model then? Uh, in terms of how, how uh, you know, an analyst or whoever would value an ounce of gold in the ground as opposed to what you guys have now created. Uh, uh, like. I'm not sure the model is any different. Uh, okay. We use peer, eval peer evaluations. Cypher does it a little differently than I do. They're, they're much more technically oriented and numbers oriented mm -hmm. than I am. I tend to uh, fly by the seat of my pants or shoot from the yeah, hip yeah. these things. But the, the bottom line is that the uh, value of an ounce in the ground or the value of a company is equal to the quantity of ounces in the ground mm -hmm. times the price that it's valued at. Yeah. So, uh, and so we, we approach uh, the problem in somewhat different ways, but we're really looking for undervalued companies at any time in their history for uh, speculation. So what were some other variables or factors that you looked at uh, to, to create this model that you have? Well, for me, I look at chair structure, people, projects, cash at hand, so it all goes together. But really, the project is king. And a lot of analysts will tell you that, that management is the most important uh, part Absolutely. of any uh, gold company, explore developer, mm -hmm. and, and Cypher and I completely disagree with that. We think that project is king. No matter how good management is, I don't think I've ever seen uh, a gold explorer, developer, or miner taken over because of its uh, attributes of its management, <laughs> if you will. It's really right. about the project. Right. So what, uh, I guess, uh, what were some of the key conclusions that, uh, that you, because uh, you just had this report come out uh, the other day, uh, what were some of the key conclusions? Well, Cypher did an exhaustive study. They looked at 253 takeovers right. during a period from 1990 to 2013. Right. So that goes from a bear market to a, to a bull market to a bear market uh, to a bull market yeah. again. So really two cycles. And they looked at the uh, number of ounces in the ground on all these projects and evaluated the cost paid per ounce. Right. And they were able to show that 80% of the acquisitions uh, occur at less than $90 an ounce of gold in the ground. And it And 60, or excuse me, 56% of those occurred at less than $45 an ounce in the ground. So that kind of gives you uh, upper limits on what right. the peer valuation should be. Uh, surprisingly, they found that the stage of the project did not correlate with the cost paid for it. So whether it was uh, in production, a minor pre-production development feasibility stage, uh, there was no correlation. Also very surprisingly, and perhaps even more uh, astounding to me was the size of the deposit does not matter. So uh, uh, deposits with 100,000 ounces would be valued equally with projects with 30 million ounces in some cases. Interesting. So, so uh, there appears to be a standard that the uh, industry is willing to pay. Now there are outliers, we see some very bad acquisitions yeah, yeah. paid for it. 
very high cost per ounce, especially during a bull market. But mm -hmm. uh, anyway, that kind of gives gave Cypher an upper limit for a pure valuation. Interesting. Um, how can we use this model to, to, to our advantage to measure value, in, especially in a market like this? Um, you know, how does the how does the gold price uh, pl come into play when you value these uh, ounces in the ground? Well, historically, I've kind of used a uh, rule of thumb that I uh, take about 10% of the gold price would be the value, uh, the highest value would ever want to put on mm -hmm. uh, on in, in the ground ounces. But I uh, I also should mention that not all ounces are created equal. So right. you have. Our resources measured, indicated, and inferred with uh, higher levels of confidence uh, from measured uh, as opposed to inferred, which don't really have very much confidence in them. Right. And then you have reserves, proven and probable reserves, where there's been a feasibility or pre feasibility study done. And those ounces are shown, have been shown to be economically mineable at that particular time. Mm -hmm. So uh, what you want to do is uh, take a look at the, at the quality of the ounces. Okay. And that quality of the ounces is really king. You want high margin ounces. What this study showed was a couple of examples is that the engineering studies that are often done, and those right. would be uh, preliminary economic as uh, assessments, pre-feasibility right. studies, feasibility studies, the takeover prices are often much lower than the value put on those. So uh, the conclusion really became uh, that when you are uh, a lay investor, you need to uh, listen to people without a vested interest in the project uh, for real valuations. Right. Things tend to be valued very high. And then you want to look at the the valuation at any time with respect to its peers. If you find companies that are sorely undervalued with good projects and those become entry points and then you'll have exit points when that company is fully, fully valued using uh, the efficient market hypothesis. Okay. With the model that, that you've created, you know, it, uh, the conclusion is really, you know, you, you've looked at 253 takeovers, a lot of it a um, uh, majority at $90 per ounce uh, and, and, and the partial to uh, $45 per ounce, you said, around 56%, that's correct. Right. So it looks like, based on this model, you know, uh, unless you're there early into the story, that's really where you get the highest return on investment and those are the type of companies you have to look out for. So, I mean, can you touch on, on yeah, those Yeah, so what, what the study really showed was time and time again that the early on investors, the founders, the uh, family and friends, private placements, the early on uh, uh, financings and the price early on uh, would give an, an opportunity for entry. Uh, however, you want to be very careful as these things progress through engineering studies because uh, over and over again we found out that they were fully or overvalued right. uh, with private placements done at much higher prices than the takeover price and that and and so what you really need to do is as a lay investor we found too many times uh, those people were left holding the bag right. and so I would encourage people to do these sorts of peer evaluations. You know, one of the differences between Cypher and me is, once again, I do back of the envelope stuff, and I and I'm dependent on the engineers and other analysts to do right. crunch the numbers for me. Right. Uh, but you can find undervalued companies at any time, and those are the ones you want to get into with the ability for takeovers or also entry and exit points right. as they become fully valued. Well, in a market like this, there's lots of opportunities out there. Absolutely. And uh, if you want to find out more, find out more information uh, on Mickey and Mercenary Geologist.com, just visit the website, as well as Cypher Investment Research, and we'll provide the information there. And uh, you can look in more detail at their model, as it's a quite an in-depth report that uh, has a lot of statistical analysis there. So uh, be sure to check it out. Mickey, thanks again. Hey, thanks again, Sonny. Always my pleasure. Excellent. And uh, look forward to the next interview. Thank you.